the five-star Ryan Williams. I'm the best receiver in high school. Hollywood. I think Ryan best in the nation. I don't understand how he gets so open. First man never's gonna tackle him. Go to Alabama, so he might go to the NFL. So he is better off the field than off. One or two touchdowns in the U. I was not ready for that. I'm number one for a reason. He is the next great Alabama wide receiver. Hollywood, that boy go put on a show. I just got out here to the court, you know, just trying to fix the little thing that you know you can do better. You know, it's always something to fix, whether you win, lose, draw, it don't matter. Go. Big dog from a little bro. I think it's time to let him know. High percentage if I'm me in city, then we getting money or we did a show. Well, this is third year playing receiver. You know what I mean? So, you know, he still has a lot of growing to do, a lot of maturing to do, a lot of crafting to do, but, you know, for the work that he put in and the amount of time that he put in to learn the position, it's gonna be scary because he's a kid that's not, you know, scared of working. Go! Whoa! I was, in a hole. <laughs> I was not ready for that. <laughs> Gee, you gotta do the right again. We also been to teach little bro. His little bro how to, you know, get, get sticky a little bit, you know, teach him a little song. This stuff, I like to work with him because it's fine and stuff. We like to play around. He's been the oldest for his whole life, so, you know, even when before all this came, he's been, like, looking after his little brothers and, you know, things like that. Kind of come with it, man, and you know you got to carry yourself the right way. And, and he does that. He's a great big brother. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, they trying to copy everything he do. Go. Uh, go get that. Oh! I see boy one. Get that lead. Legs on the camera. His nickname's Hollywood. My name is Hollywood, you said you and I'm the number one receiver in the nation. How he got the name Hollywood? All right, he had like a fantasy like game. You know, it started off as a little. Oh, you went Hollywood on the day, like like six touchdowns in a part D game at like seven. We was like, yo, you had fantasy now with all the real Hollywood. Every time I used to get, get the ball, everybody was like, hold that breath, like they'd be shook. They don't know what's gonna happen next. You know, it's God that it started off with it, like Hollywood, like it was, so it was an in-house thing, like it was just us, like people in the house, like he playing football, just something to like turn them up. Well, my God, Dad and my dad said, every time I get on the field, I put on the show. Now it's like, shoot, at first, first it was like neighborhood, then city, state, and now it's like, shoot, we might go to, you know what I'm talking about, Missouri or something, so Hollywood. When I head out to go see my guy Kibo, you know he's gonna get me right for sure. So how does it feel to have people admire you and be like hometown hero? Just have to like constantly knowing like somebody watching you like in a positive way, in a good way. Like, like yeah, role model type. It, it, it feels good. So like I just like doing that for the people. Really one of the hardest barbers down south. I just don't have the recognition yet. Man. Uh, you know he believe in me. And I believe in him, so like I, I try to do anything in my power to continue to pro promote him because he definitely deserves it. With my brand increasing, I want his brand to increase, so our brands increase together because, you know, we're from the same city. So like, I feel like everybody that's doing something positive in our community deserves it. I do what I tell all my clients. Close your eyes right there. Nah, I ain't going to get it. Tap in. All right, my boy. Uh, much love. Much love. Look good, play good. I wish we had a game today. I would have dropped five on. I got them one for six. I got them one for six. I was good. I was at the beach, you know, getting a little work in, but I also having a little fun with it, you know. Away from everybody, you know, sometimes you got to hit a factory reset. I just throw the jam on you. No, no, none of that. You ready to run? You ready to run? No! <laughs> Give me that. Wrong that boy. Well, you know, I played a little ball. I was four star. You know, probably one of those stores that, you know, you probably had at the, the barbershop or something like that. Like, you know, I had my heyday. I know what you want. <laughs> no, no, edit. <laughs> edit that. My senior year, second game of the season blew my Blew my knee out. Like I said, I had came to a crossroad where you could knock on doors and try to get in the league, or you could 
you know what I'm saying, go home and pour into your son. And that was the best decision I ever made, just going home and pouring into him. When he came back from college, when I was around four or five, we were just in the backyard every day, and like every day, like every single day. It was just fun, like I, it just, at that point, because he had been gone playing college ball, so it's like, oh, it's just father son time. Watching him take it further, trying to finish it off for me, like, you know, it hit different, dog. As a dad, it hit different, yeah. I can take chances now, oh! He running! Get it out! Oh, you go. No! I've heard the game right here. Take my croc off of them. Oh, now nah, he in trouble now. Let's go. Yeah. Game right here, baby. Oh. Throw it to the father. Throw it to the father. Ah! What he do? Ah! <laughs> But you know, that taggy jackets, man, you know, again, a little light, little, little lunch, I guess you call it. You know, the crowd clubs go crazy, and they gonna do it. I think I need some more sweet tea. Bro, though, with his sweet tea before, like, we got here, guys. <laughs> yeah, you know, KJ, my dog. We know KJ Lacey keeps going to him, and defenses can't do anything to stop him. The Rockets in by seventh grade. Well, officially since by seventh grade, you know, and nah, because we've been rocking so long, you know, I could go running around with my eyes closed and I still catch it because, you know, I know he gonna put it where it need to be and I'm gonna go get it. I'm telling you, damn, bro, ain't he, like, give me a countdown or nothing, just how straight and No countdown, need, I pray in the car. <laughs> he said I pray in the car. <laughs> oh, Lord, <laughs> please. <laughs> Don't take this man seat. <laughs> hey man. You know, to me, them guys are like two like cat dogs, you know, but they, they connection real dog. Like, you know, they're always talking, they always together. You know what I'm saying? And it shows on the field. Look at him, check him out, check him out. He already halfway done. It's not like, it's not too sweet. It's like her. Like my love sweet too. You might be able to land your NIL day with my love. The only reason I'm killing this sweet tea like this. It's because I have an addiction to sweet tea. Huh. Like, I've been off of it for like two months. And then like, I mean, last week I got my first taste of it. I'm back with it again. Bro, I came with this man. The bus used to come at a different time every day. I used to have to walk from the crib to that uh, stop sign every single day. And they used to, like, one day it might come at like 6.45, the next day it's 7.05, and I'm trying to tell you the bus ain't sparing nobody. Man, what? <laughs> Man, what? I'm talking about all down here to the laundromat, bro, because that's the next place they stop at. They just knew I was bound to have speed or something. Okay. Hey, we on TV? <laughs> Doing a uh, documentary. Yeah, let me talk to you. Oh, let me get on there. Oh, Lord. Y'all, come on. You come on, too. Don't you say that. I love to take pictures. I love to take pictures. Hey, so that be happening often out here? Yeah, it's either they just go ahead and say what's up, or, like, they just stare. It's, it's crazy. You got to walk up to you and say, you suck. But then ask for a picture. Go Spartan. Go Spartan. Go Spartan. I've always been a Spartan. We at Sarah Land Barton's City League Park. It's named after William Silver. It's gonna be changed around with him. Just, just give us some time. A big jillion touchdowns happened on this field. My first touchdown was at the high school, though. A scrimmage game. It was like a jamboree. I ran down the left sideline. It shook the safety, and he ended up tackling like the. Oh, I shook the cornerback, and he tackled the safety. And I was in the end zone, and you see my dad running down the side. I'm trying to tell you, them folks need to come out here and try to knock my helmet off, bro. So they might hit you hard, and they don't feel it, but you gonna feel it, boy. Definitely brought that dog out. I ain't gonna lie. Cause like, just playing early on, like you gonna get hit. Even when I was young, my dad always told me like, try to limit hits. Like, cause I don't even get hit for real now. But that's because, like I learned all that stuff at like four or five. This is where I work out at. I come out here or at the school, at, the, at our high school. Like, this is the crib, man. So, like, even whenever I, you know, go to college, I'm gonna come back, like, in the off season, whenever it's the off season. Definitely gotta stop at, at the crib. 
feel like this joint, you know, had to cut the lights on because, you know, you got to got to extend that thing sometimes, you know. Sometimes you got to get a little after hours, especially get that stretch in. Crew process, it was it was heavy, you know, just from the, the jump, you know, I got my first offer my freshman year. So. He also turned down some big schools too. Georgia, Auburn, Arkansas, everyone wanted this kid, but he was not leaving the home state of Alabama. That was my 16th offer. It was on campus. And right away I knew like that was somewhere that like was a contender of where I wanted to go. You know, just wanted to be around the best and I still want to be around the best. The main reason is definitely the constant love. Every time I go up there, like, I just feel like I'm at home. It's literally a second home. I just love being there. Like, it's definitely a family environment. And the coaches love me. I love the coaches. I love the fans. Most of my hometown fans, so Alabama fans, and I love the hometown feeling, hometown hero. You know, it was like, nah, man, I really just, you know, I said, I love it here. And before he committed and after he committed, the way they just supported him and look after him and, you know what I'm saying? When he come up there, he feel like family. I definitely still get pressure from other schools, but you know, it's, it's, it's more of a loyalty thing. Like, I'm still enjoying my process, but I, I definitely love where I'm at with my school. Uh, it's roll tide, baby. Before me, you know, my dad was committed to Auburn, so it was a, a real Auburn household, man. I'm trying to tell you, they weren't rocking with them Bama folks. But you know, uh, whenever I committed, Everybody, you know, they, everybody from the family, you know, they, they love me, of course. So they jump the ship. You know, everybody was rocking with Bama now. Yeah, you know, KJ be throwing them horns up sooner or later. He gonna be throwing them down, because you know it's roll tie. He know what it is, for real. Bama fans, he coming with me, baby. Little brother's game, man. You know, just uh, ready to watch them ball, because I remember I was in their seats, man. And you know, it just feel good to watch them because it was like I was just, in, just, just doing it just like them. Y'all set? He said, yeah, it's cute. He said, you two play one. I did. <laughs> he said, that boy was dropping tit down at a tit down. He a humble kid, never got the big head, never gonna get, I don't think he's ever gonna get the big head, you know. I think he's learning how to handle the things off the field. And uh, he gives back, like, you know, he's not one of those, you know what I'm saying, five stars that a kid can't run up to and, Talk to we not the type of people that you can't, you know, unapproachable. Read about <laughs> Read about I'm always getting beat by a little kid. Read about that. And it's a, oh my God. But he is the same way on the field as he is off. He is sweet, he is kind, he's respectful. So he is better off the field than on. Right. And that's okay, okay when you got the little attitude when y'all played the team from uh, the first one. Yeah, listen. I told him, I said, where'd that at too? Cause I didn't see that before. And I was like, what? I got, out, got out of my body, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. You know, like, we got a little kid named Coop and looks up to Larry, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, encouraging people to do better. Like, man, keep going, you doing the right thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're a walking disciple for real. These are all my accolades, mostly a good portion of them from the last year's season. Uh, Fox 10 player of the year. And, you know, we got that plaque thing from state championship. It was crazy, I ain't gonna lie. That's the, uh, the championship score, 38, 17, 21 P. Gatorade play of the year for the state of Alabama. And then Mr. Football, and K, the best football player in Alabama from this past season. I was the first sophomore, youngest player to ever do it. I was 15. And it's crazy, but the year he had last year was like, bar none, one of the best I've seen with my own. I'm not saying it because he my, you know what I'm saying, he my son, but just bar none, just the way he played the game, you know, kind of him and KJ carried his team, you know, 42 touchdowns in a year. As a sophomore, like, that's crazy. Work hard, play hard, so while we out here, you know, of course we want to draw ourselves, kick back, but, you know, also, Get some out of there too. We're getting a little contested kisses along with getting some sun and water. Just a good little time. I'm beyond thankful for my dad, man, you know. And I know my little brothers are too, because he really a role model to us. I know he is for me, because, you know, he he does, he, he try to do everything the right way, and he'll do anything for us, and uh, we'll do anything for him. But I just know him being in my life definitely makes a big difference, because without him, I don't know where I would be right now, especially like on the field, but even off the field. Like on the field, I don't know if I still be playing football right now, but yeah, I'm just, I'm very thankful for him. 
Shout out Overtime, I'm really excited. You know, I graduate soon. I'm just excited to be a part of the Roll Tide family and, you know, bringing them national championships back. Roll Tide. So shout out Overtime for real. It's all love. Well, Luke and made it to the end of the video. If you like this content, make sure you hit subscribe right there or check out some of the other videos we got going on. And if you like how your boy looks right now, make sure you check out our shop. Ha, ha, ha.